what's up what's going on my good friends so right now you and i and the rest of the world are in quarantine now i do step outside uh, you know to go skateboarding or jogging or when i have to go to the supermarket unfortunately i only go to the supermarket when i run out of food and then sometimes when i go to a specific store and they don't have that item i find myself going to multiple stores looking for uh, or trying to just complete my shopping list so that's the world that i live in right now that's the world that we all live in right now it's it sucks but we'll get through this it'll be okay i did get something in the mail not too long ago and uh i this video is about the custom multi-function bar for the canon r but before we get to that i did get something in the mail and that is my good friend starscream the reason i got starscream is because we're gonna do a photo shoot with starscream megatron and shockwave and i need to find the place to put them uh i'm not talking about a small place i'm talking about a real place like for example i'm going to be taking a picture of scavenger scavenger is the torso the centerpiece of devastator scavenger is 75 feet tall and i am currently looking for a place to put the 75 foot robot uh, and i don't want to put him just in an empty field i want to put him somewhere where it looks like he is big somewhere where there's things around him to show the scale of his size which is like i said 75 feet um i can't just put him in the front yard because he's just too big for that that's another project oh by the way that's scavenger right there yeah He's, he's 75 feet. He doesn't look 75, but he's 75. Let's just jump right into the multifunction bar that is going to be uh, excluded on the EOS R5 and the R6. I love the touch bar. Uh, it's a touch bar, but Canon calls it the multifunction bar. And Canon really never showed us how to use this item, which is really unfortunate because um, a lot of people were complaining about it. And Everyone I know that owns a Canon EOS R um, has the multifunction bar deactivated. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna show you how I use it for photography and for video. And so the first thing we need to do is activate it in a certain way. So you are no longer have to go into the menu to change the settings. There's another way of doing it and I'm gonna show you right here. So you go into the menu, then you find the custom multifunction bar in the orientation settings, the number four, there it is. You click on it and then right here you go all the way to the bottom. You go here first and you turn this on. Hit OK and you are good to go. What this does is it allows you to access the menu of the function bar without having to go through the menu like this. All you do is press your thumb over the entire swipe bar and look, it just sends you directly to these settings. Um, it's fantastic, it's, it's great, it's the way it's supposed to be used. One more time, entire finger, swipe bar, boom, you're in here. Now, for photography, I have the swipe bar set to my focus mode, so I can have it on vertical, I mean horizontal, or face detect, or single point or just a square vertical horizontal so i can swipe across all of these modes very easily so if it's um, a person uh, a thing um, a group of people dogs birds sports whatever it is i can quickly change my focusing modes like this i use this a lot it's very helpful it's helpful for me now another thing i'm going to show you is how I have these two buttons set up. So for example, we go here and if my focusing point is to the left, all I do is press this button and it recenters it. If it's to the right, this button recenters it. And it does it of course with anything else as well in any other mode you might be in and you're recentered. Now, this button toggles through either one shot or servo so we're in servo one shot servo one shot um, any mode this mode servo one shot and this is how i use the multifunction bar also known as a swipe bar for photography now for video mode very easy to change 
Place your thumb over the entire swipe bar like this. Menu pops up. We go in here, change it to ISO. And so now I use the swipe bar for the ISO. Now the reason I do this is really mostly when I have the camera set on top of the DJI Ronin-S like this. Now when the camera is on the stabilizer and I need to change my exposure without having to disturb the image or anything, um, the last thing I want to do is press any buttons uh, for the exposure. So all I do is to swipe, 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 overexpose, underexpose, overexpose, underexpose, no big deal. Life is great without having to really touch the camera or do anything. Not only that, it's also very fast because you're not filling around through the menus. And if you want to underexpose, then you just swipe. This is how I use the touch bar for video when it's on top of the DJI Ronin S. That's pretty much how I use it for photography. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. If you like the video, give it a like. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll be making another video on something else. Be safe, have fun, and let's just hang in there, right?